Hi, this is Steve Marshall from Five Fingers Studios. So I wanted to quickly show a tool that we've created in-house that allows us to bake light probes across scenes that are loaded asynchronously. So if you notice, I have a scene here that has um, a floor that's static, and we have a dynamic object that is the capsule, and also a red light and some light probes. So if we load in scene two and scene three, you notice we have the same thing across each, right? So we have light probes in scene two, a capsule and a green light, light probes, blue light in scene three. So I'm going to go ahead and bake these light probes in each scene. So, so the issue that we, you know, worked on solving is that currently right now whenever you bake scenes separately within unity the light probes for the last scene that is loaded asynchronously will be the ones used right so there's a solution that you know you can use where you bake all of the light probes into a particular scene into a separate scene and you keep that loaded well, this particular solution that we came up with doesn't have that restriction. So I've gone ahead and I've baked all of the scenes. So now if you look at this, this is baked normally, right? So if you notice, the light probes in this scene work. Now as soon as I load in scene two, the light probes in scene one no longer work and only in scene two they will work. See, so that's why it's still black. So when we go ahead, it turns green. And then if we load in scene three, scene three now has the light probes that were loaded last, so those will work, but now scene two and scene one no, no longer work. So I'll go ahead and use the tool that we created to bake all the scenes. So after this is done processing the light probes for each scene, you'll see that the light probes do indeed fact work correctly across each scene. So it has completed. Let me go ahead and load scene one. So if you notice the scene one, the light probe works correctly, but also now if we load scene two asynchronously and even scene three asynchronously, let me load that in. So this works correctly. And then if we load in scene three asynchronously, now all of them work. And it doesn't matter which scene the dynamic object is from, it's always going to work. So there you have it. So I've been thinking about, you know, maybe releasing an asset or, um, you know, if we have time, or maybe even just create a white paper that shows exactly how to do it. Uh, just let me know your thoughts. Okay, thanks.